Let's do this. All right, speeder, let's go now. Uh, hey, that isn't too aggressive. Oh, we're speeding up. Oh, look at the turning on that. Oh, that is aggressive. I did not expect that to turn that fast. Oh, it's doing it. Uh oh, it's going to fall out. Hold on. There we go. Kind of put the nose up a bit. Oh, no. Can we clear the crater? <laughs> that looks ridiculous. Hello YouTube, Komodo Gaming here, bringing you guys another episode of Scrap Mechanic. Yes folks, we are back once again, and today we're going to be checking out some viewer creations. Now you're probably asking yourself, Komodo, it looks a little bit red out here, and yes it does folks, indeed. Uh, since we were doing a space theme, I was like, man, I really wish there was some Mars tiles on the workshop, and there was. So we have made a Mars map, this is actually kind of epic looking. I wouldn't be opposed to doing a Mars base. I don't know, I got that sudden urge to like, man, I want to build a base, or a town, or a city, or something to do with Mars. But, anyways, that's not what we're here to do today. Today, we're going to be checking out some awesome viewer creations. Now, do keep in mind, everything will be linked down in the description, including the tiles here, which are made by Stunt Volt, I believe was his name. I think I'm saying that right. But yeah. Anyways, if you're enjoying Scrap Mechanic on the channel and want to see more of it, maybe hit that thumbs up button. And if you have suggestions for future episodes, uh, maybe even including a Mars base, also let me know down below. But anyways, let's jump right into this. Oh boy, we've got a lot of stuff to check out here today. I really want to jump into that, but I'm going to hold off on that one. That one's got a nice little surprise in the bay here. Uh, but today, let's go ahead and start over here. Now, some of you guys might actually notice this. I didn't. I know of the show and basically the group, but this is made by, let's get down to the bottom here, Nightshade. Uh, it is the S.H.I.E.L.D. Jump Jet. Now, I don't really, like I know S.H.I.E.L.D. Marvel Universe, I'm assuming that's what this is. I don't know what this is though, <laughs> as far as I've never seen the show, I've never seen this in any of the movies, but it's a jump jet, so it's got hover, rise, nose up, down, tilt, left, right, open cockpit. Oh, there's a cargo bay in here. Oh, let's see. Let's look at the uh, spider web. Uh, it's not too bad. There is an opening back here. Can I just open this? Or do I have to... Uh... Oh, never mind. That opens up there. Hmm, apparently we need to be in the cockpit. So let's go ahead and climb up, I guess, up the nose here. This is uh, fairly cool looking. Okay, let's see. Uh, I'm going to hop out down into here. There we go. All right, let's go ahead and hit that cargo door first. I want to see... Uh-oh. What was that? Wait, what? Oh! Oh, there is a cargo bay in here. Hold on, we can walk around back here? Oh, we can! Oh, how neat! Oh, there is a place to... S oh, what the... Okay, I'm really confused now. So yeah, you can set people down here. All right, uh, is there an opening back here? Let's go ahead and click all the buttons real quick. Let's see, 7 is... I don't see what 7 did. Let's zoom out. Uh, let's try... let's try 6. Okay, that's actually the tilt, so let's go 7. There's... okay, that's the cockpit door. Okay, 8 is... Oh, there it is! It's up in the front! Okay. So yeah, you can walk in like that. Was there a button up here on the outside that we could click? Huh, I don't think there was. Okay. All right, let's see how this thing flies. Let's go ahead and button everything back up here. There we go. That, that, and that. Uh, doors are up. Okay. So let's go into hover mode. Oh, look at that landing gear. Actually, that's really cool looking. All right, so we're in hover mode. Let's go ahead and start to go up here. Plus, I'll let you guys kind of see the planet here. This is, <laughs> this is really cool looking. All the craters and everything else. Alright, so we're up in the air. Does this thing... Okay, it does stabilize itself, and we're done climbing, so... Three's nose up, four's nose down, and then the rolls are your five and six, and then... Okay, tens to make it go down. Okay, so I think I've got a hold of this. Uh, let's go ahead, get moving. So it is WASD controlled. I'm assuming you would need to maybe have a little bit of assistance from the other keys. To keep it up, but uh, yeah, this is actually really balanced. I'm uh, digging this a lot. What does the cockpit look like? Oh, oops. Um, <laughs> uh, we're still down in the seat here. Okay, no, that's okay. That's that. Uh, 
I'd like to go back up, please. Oh, hold on. There we go. All right, we're good. Are we good? Oh, the door's open now. Uh, Komodo's a terrible pilot, by the way. All right, so let's go ahead. Let's get moving here. Oh, this is cool. I kind of want to put it through its paces. Can we, uh, let's climb real quick. And then we're just going to shoot down and try to pick up a massive amount of speed. Oh, boy, we are really high up in the air. All right, let's go ahead. Nose down. Let's correct that. Here we go. Oh, boy, we are really high up in the air right now. Okay, let's go ahead and go nose down. And this should pick us up a lot of speed here. Okay, when I start to see, uh, when I start to think I'm close to the ground, I'm going to try to backflip here. Oh, no. Okay, that's it. Oh, I see the edge of the map there. Okay, we're going to need to backflip now. Oh, <laughs> oh, can it complete it? Can it complete it? <laughs> oh, oops. Uh, that was close. That was pretty close. I feel like if I had more altitude there, that would have worked. Uh, can I unflip myself? Maybe if I reverse the thrusters. Let's go boom, boom. No, I, I do believe I'm stuck upside down. All right, let's uh, reset this. Man, I just thought I was going to be all fancy and like do a backflip and stuff because that's a cool thing to do. But yeah, I'm pretty sure it's possible, but just not with my skill level. But uh, nonetheless, very cool craft. I want to thank Mr. Nightshade for sending this bad boy over. I really do like the way it flies. All right, let's go ahead and move on to the next creation. All right, so we're going to go ahead and pull out this bad boy. We actually have two creations by Lady Skelebro69. Uh, yes, that's his name. Uh, you've got this big ship here, which is actually a kind of cargo explorer style ship. I wouldn't say it's a cargo ship per se, but... This would be something that we would take to Mars. And then we have this thing over here. This is like one of the coolest looking speeder bikes that I've ever seen in Scrap Mechanic. Uh, we'll look at these two and then we'll go over to the Rocket League car because I'm sorry, there's some sweet dunes in here that we're going to hit with that. So let's go ahead and hit this button here. Uh, give it a second. A little timer went up there. Oh, did it light up? Oh, I didn't catch that. Hold on, let's, uh, is there another button? Can I just hit this one? Oh. Whoa! That was cool. Hold on, let's do that again. Hold on, let's get out of here. Okay, let this close up. So it goes up like that. Now the interior lights are on. Yeah, there's an exterior light when you hit it. So the timer fills up right there. And then boom, light turns on. You got your ramp. And then of course you've got this, uh, this light right here. Which it even like, they don't all turn on at the same time. It's little details like that. Hold on, let's keep hitting it. Keep hitting it. That's awesome. All right, so let's do that. So, you can see that, oh, not that button, that button. You can see there is a vehicle in here. And yes, folks, we are going to drive around. What is this hooked up by? Okay, so it's hooked in back here. You know, it would be cool to have like a, and I really, I say this a lot. I would love to have a camera block in Scrap Mechanic. And I really need to make that suggestion to him. Because we could have like a drone or a rover in here that we could have a camera attached to. And we could do the wireless glitch and drive it out of here, which would be amazing. But yeah, we'll, uh, we'll get to this here in a second. We'll launch it. I think we need to keep it attached. Uh, there's two sensors under there. I don't know what that does. Uh, but yeah, we're going to keep this attached for now because uh, Scrap Mechanic doesn't like loose objects inside of each other. So, ooh. Oh, this is bright. Oh, this looks like an alien ship almost. Wow, these uh, I believe these are glow blocks. Okay, we got that. Uh, oh, there's buttons back here. What does this all do? Hold on. I'm a little confused. All right, let's hit some buttons here. Oh, do we really need more light? <laughs> I think the glow blocks do a pretty good job of uh, enough light, but wow. Look at this. Oh, we got sleeping quarters in here, and they got this nice little domed glass. Oh, that's nice, and you get a view of the planet. Wow, that is cool looking. All right, so Lady Skelebro is just amazing when it comes to these ships. Uh, up here, are these buttons, are these actual, like, do anything buttons? Uh, this just looks like a bunch of onboard computers, except for this one. This one's got a... Uh oh I think that's a button that's meant for the cockpit. So we walk out here. Oh, look at the, the, like, suspended cockpit here. You've got the glass bottoms on each side. you got, like, the overhead part up here. That is cool. Hmm, do we want to... Uh, what do we want to do first? Do we want to launch the rover? You know what? Let's go ahead and fly first. Uh, I think I'm pretty familiar with this control scheme, so we're going to go... One, that activates all of our thrusters. Two's gonna let, oh actually, no, that's gonna make us go forward. Three is gonna lift us. 
And what I like what he's done, you can see down at the bottom where the buttons are. Sometimes he'll have those angled and he'll have the, the different buttons that way you can tell what they do because three has the arrow going up. So obviously we're going to go up like that. And I'm not putting any input in right now. Look how stable that is. That's beautiful. I bet you can walk her. Oh no, that was a mistake. Oh, okay, can I get down? Oh, I can. Look at this. Oh, we can walk around fully on this. And it doesn't even bounce. A lot of times uh, when you get crafts that are really stable, you will still bounce when you're in air. You don't do that here. And I didn't realize you can actually see down to the cargo bay down there. All right, so this is cool. I'm really digging this. Let's go ahead and get up into here. All right, so we're going to click some more buttons. Let's go four. Uh, four is... Okay, that's the hatch there, so we can do that from inside. Man, we need a parachute. We can just launch out from midair. That's cool. Okay, let's go... Put that back up. Let's go five. Is your forward leaning. And I'm pretty sure six and seven are your... Yeah, your tilt left and right. Because W is going to act as your up. So, W is your up. Fives, you're down. That's one thing I had to get used to initially when I started uh, playing with some of his creations. Uh, that confused me at first. So we got that. Let's go. Okay, so you're left and right. Okay, so that's going to be eight and seven. Let's go ahead and tilt this back. There we go. All right. Let's, oh, no, I didn't want to tilt the nose that much. No, 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 no. I made a mistake here. I made a mistake. There we go. Correct it. All right, let's get moving back. Uh, that's one thing I, I still make that mistake by hitting W thinking oh, I'm gonna go forward like this But it's actually mapped to a, uh, a button. So let's go ahead and climb back up here. Let's tilt the uh, Let's get the nose pointed down a little bit. There we go. All right, so let's hit two. There we go I think I just hit the uh, cargo bay and probably just sucked all the passengers out of there. Not bad All right, so we are moving forward now. It still uses a and actually does this one use a and D? No, it doesn't actually. So it's going to use your seven and eight to turn. Oh, look at the turning on that. Oh, that is aggressive. I did not expect that to turn that fast. All right, so we'll go back this way. We should start gaining some momentum. Let's go ahead and try to uh, let's try to level this off. There we go. So we got it leveled off. Uh, probably need to go down with the nose just a bit there. Cool. We're tilted over just slightly. There we go. Leveled back off. That is so cool looking. Yeah, I think this is probably my favorite ship of his. Uh, it also helps that there's a vehicle in here that we're about to launch. So say we just arrived on the red planet and we are looking for a place to launch our little rover vehicle. Uh, that looks like a pretty decent little landing spot right there. So let's go ahead and get the power off there. Uh, we're a little sideways. Let's go ahead and tilt forward. Ooh, I do not want to land in the crater. No way. Let's go ahead and tilt this back. Okay, we are a little off right now. This is this is still manageable. Okay, let's do that. Let's go ahead and push forward real quick. And we're going to clear this crater. All right, we should be good to go. We're going to launch. Let's go ahead and start dropping. Let's go ahead and get that bay door ready to go. Let's go ahead and hit that real quick. Here we go. We are performing a moon, or actually a Mars landing. Oh, somebody's going to get mad at me for saying moon. Okay. Waiting for the bay door. Let's click it again. Timer's up. Uh-oh. Is it jammed? Oh, it might be jammed. Hold on. Let's click it again. Uh, yep. We got one of those scrap mechanic jams. Let's go uh, unjam that door real quick. All right. Let's uh, get back down here. We got a stuck door, and we're going to go over there and put a block on it. Because that fixes everything in Scrap Mechanic. There we go. Oh, you see lights flicker? <laughs> lights flicker when we do that. Alright, so we have landed here on the mysterious planet of Mars. We're ready to go ahead and launch our rover. I'm curious as to what the, uh, the sensors down there do. Let's go ahead and cut that. Okay, rover's free. Uh, let's hit the one key, turn those lights on. Let's go... Oh, you know what? I have a feeling this thing would almost set in there. There's little uh, blockers uh, for the front wheels when you're up in the bay. I almost have a feeling that it would maybe work uh, with having it loose and being able to actually fly around, but I could be wrong. And Oh, no! No, we don't want to flip this on the red planet. We don't have a backup. Uh, so, yeah, we can take our little rover out here, and we are on Mars. We are going to go explore uh, what there is to explore. Hold on, let's go over here. Uh, there's a tile over here I'm kind of curious about. 
it looks like something maybe struck the planet over here. Like, it's black, or is that... It's not some sort of, uh... Did we discover liquid? No, this is, a. Uh, this looks like it's been charred, and it's kind of, like, right around one of the little, uh, radio towers. Uh, let's go ahead and put this thing through its paces, get up this hill. Uh, there's a crater over there. Is this a crater, too? Oh, I don't know if we want to go in this. Uh-oh. 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 We don't want to lose sight. Oh, wow, we've already made it this far. We're really far away from the, uh, actual ship there. Alright, Mr. Scrap Person here has had enough of the red planet. We are ready to go ahead and load this back up. Uh, we're gonna try to drive it back in. Let's see if this works. I might even try to take off. I don't know. Oh, there it is. Okay, there's our ship. Let's go ahead and load the vehicle back up. I would back back into it, but we're just gonna go forward here. So let's go up like this. You know, it doesn't lag when we do this, so we might be able to actually lift off. So let's go up over the little hump here. So that should basically lock our vehicle in. Let's get out. There we go. All right, we are leaving this planet. Let's go ahead and go boom. And make sure the door closes. Or do I have to hit this again? Uh, let's go ahead and hit that. Come on. Come on. You know you want to close. Is that... Or am I hitting a different button? Uh, we'll do it from the top. Man, I believe our door is jammed. Oh, well, I guess we got to take off without it. So let's go ahead and go one. There it goes. This isn't lagging. What the heck? I don't think I've ever experienced that before. You know, I figured this would lag a lot. Oh, let's try to try that door again, see if we can get it closed. There it goes. Maybe it was just jammed on the ground. Uh, that's very possible. Yeah, this is the first time I've ever seen us be able to haul around a creation in Scrap Mechanic and it not kill the game. That is rather amazing. Yeah, he's done a good job with this. And look at this. We're right back to our original site. So let's go ahead and start to drop a little bit of altitude here. There we go. Boom, boom, boom. Is there a side door? Is it just the... Might just be the cargo door. Oh, let's drop it there. All right, we're back. That is awesome. This is a sweet creation. Now, uh, you only have to download the base creation. It does already come with the, uh, the vehicle in it. So, if you're going to download that. But anyways, let's move on to the next thing. Alright, so we have another creation here. This is the Red Nux. Uh, this is by Lady Skelebro. Supposedly, this thing is basically a racer. So, let's hop up into this. Oh, 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 there we go. Uh, it's got one button. What does that one button do? Hold on. Button? Okay, it's your hover. Oh, I have a feeling this is going to be too fast. Let's, uh, let's do this. Alright, speeder, let's go now. Uh, hey, that isn't too aggressive. Oh, we're speeding up. That's not bad at all. Okay, I really thought this was going to be, like, ridiculous. Go hit the other side of the map, and then all of a sudden you have a suspension glitch, like, jammed out the side and you're flipping. No, this is actually quite controllable. Hold on, question is, how good does it stabilize itself? So say if we hit this jump here. Okay, we're carrying through the air, and let's see. Yep. Bottomed out a little bit, but let's see if it corrects itself here. Wow, that is really stable. And I think it's, I'm sure it's using almost like a, actually it is using a gyro. I believe that's a gyro right there, and I can hear the, uh, it's got sensors. Yeah, you can see the sensors on the gyro there, that's cool. And I believe it's also, you can see the one that's going off there with the green, that's what's keeping the hovering sensor going. That is compact. I never really understood how some people were able to build stuff this compact, especially with the gyro and everything built into it. Uh, that's just amazing looking. Uh, this does remind me a, a little bit of Ray's speeder from Star Wars. I mean, not a whole bunch, but it kind of does a little bit. Or maybe some other speeders that I've seen from the uh, Star Wars universe. You guys know maybe what this looks like. Comment below. Let me know. Uh, it's really cool, though. I'm liking it. Uh, let's go ahead. Let's find a kind of a straight canyon piece that we can fly there. Maybe through... I don't know if I have any of those. Well, let's look around real quick. Oh, boy, we're flying through the map. Oh, oh, can we can we make it through the... Oh, no, 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 we're not gonna make it through that. Oh, did it break? No, it's good. Alright, we're not broken. I was kind of afraid whenever you hit stuff, you might jar like the suspension glitch or the gyro and it'll, uh, it'll start making you spin, flip, and do all sorts of weird things, and it's not very fun, so... 
There we go, speed through here. These are really, really cool. Now, I don't think that there's, there's not a whole bunch of, hold on, let's get this, uh-oh. No, 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 hold on, set you down real quick. There's not a whole bunch of bearings on this, is there? I bet you we could do this in multiplayer. Yeah, see, one, two, three, four, five, six, ah, it's debatable. You know, sometimes the glitches will cause lag and sometimes the bearings will, uh, I think, I almost think we could use that. I don't know. I could be wrong, but anyways, let's go ahead. Uh, let's start tracking back to the uh, original site here. There we go. Over this. All right, we have arrived back home. Let's let it bottom out here. Is it still hovering when it's in this mode, or is it? Uh, no, it is actually shut off. So we shut off the hover sensors, or yeah, I guess it would just be the sensors that you shut off there. Yeah, there you go. So yeah, that is cool. All right, so say for some reason we have a rocket league car here on Mars and we want to hit some of the dunes, uh, check this out. Let me uh, let me get the lift out real quick. This is by Ugly Dankling. <laughs> this is the replica of the Dominus from Rocket League. I haven't played Rocket League in a long time, so I couldn't tell you like if this looks 100% correct. But he did have a picture of the in-game car next to this, and it looked pretty good to me. So it's got lights, it's got a boost, radio, and horn. I don't think it does the crazy flips that you see in Rocket League. Let's, uh, maybe it does. Oh, that's a lot of bearings. Oh, does that have like a wishbone style suspension? I believe it does. All right, you got that. I'm seeing the thrust for the boosters. I don't think it does any like flips or anything. Uh, question is, how do we get in it? Is it, is it through the back? Oh, here we go. All right, let's try this out. And... All right, it's got a nice little bit of speed for just the uh, the engines by themselves. Uh, let's turn the headlights on. Oh, there's your thrust. Oh, we are all in the mail right now. Uh oh, <laughs> uh oh, <laughs> this is gonna be bad. Uh, does this thing correct itself? Oh boy, Hunt, land back on your wheels. No, 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 no. Uh, let's see. What's the three key? Oh, it's the radio and that's the horn. Hold on, let's see if we can get ourselves back on our wheels here. Come on, buddy. Come on. No, 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 no. Okay, you know what? Fine. I will reset you. Uh, this is a fast car. I think we're going to bomb one of the craters. All right, here we go. We're going to hit our first jump here. <laughs> that is excellent. All right, there's that. There's uh, there's one of the craters. Uh, maybe we'll hit that one. Maybe we'll hit that crater. Is there another one over here? Ooh, that's a pretty steep hill right there. Let's go ahead and start to head over that way. We might be able to jump a crater, folks. Uh-oh, we're going down in a crater now. Uh-oh, no, 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 no. Okay, ooh, where can I hit that from? That all looks terrible. Uh, let's hit this one with it. There we go. Oh, no, can we clear the crater? <laughs> that looks ridiculous. Uh, and hit the brakes, let it try to put the nose down. Boom. We totally didn't use thrusters there to clear that crater. I like the shape of this. This is a uh, really cool. I like the just the overall beefiness. You see the thrusters in the back hanging out, the lights, the exhaust kind of, or the headers coming out the front. Is that headers or exhaust? Maybe that's where the exhaust is coming out of. I, it all just looks really awesome. I kind of need to play Rocket League again. I don't know. That was one of those games that I was absolutely garbage at. Like I was not good at all. I always held the team down. Uh, my friends, they stopped playing with me. <laughs> they were like, you know what? We don't want to play with Komodo. He's not that great. So maybe I shouldn't play Rocket League. Maybe we'll do another scrap mechanic Rocket League. I was pretty good at that one. Uh, we did that for a multiplayer Monday that one time, which that was really fun. Let's hit this. Boom. Oh, boy. Oh, let's see if we can use the wheels. to. Oh, we, oh, we almost landed perfectly in there. I thought we were going to go kind of off the banking there. I tell you what, this is actually a fun little car. It actually handles really good, too. Like, it turns on a dime. Hit the little dip, and we are back. Almost want to haul this. Will this even fit in that? I don't know. Let's uh, let's attempt it real quick. Well, you go into here. Uh, <laughs> no, the poles and stuff are going to block it. I mean, it fits. If we didn't have those poles, well, actually, it might still... Yeah, this perfectly fits. Okay, let's try to lift this real quick before we end the episode. All right, hop over here. There we go. Maybe we should try to get the speeder in here, too, because why not? Uh, let's see. Can we lift it all? That is going to be the ultimate question of the day. Or is it going to crash the game? Let's go boom. <gasps> okay, it's not lifting. Oh, come on. Oh, it's doing it. Uh oh, it's going to fall out. Hold on. There we go. Kind of put the nose up a bit. 
All right, so now we are hauling the Rocket League car and the normal car. You know what? I don't I don't want to keep these cars in here. So what we're going to do, let's just go... Yeah. Eh. Oh, wait. You're supposed to fall out. This is the point where you fall out. What are you doing? How is it still... What is... How is it holding in there? Uh-oh. Oh, oh, no. That's going to be laggy. Oh, we made mistakes. Mistakes have been made. All right, shut it down. Shut it down. Just, just Let's just get out of here. Hey, that's not that bad. The initial impact was laggy. But anyways, folks, I think that's going to wrap it up for this episode of Scrap Mechanic Viewer Creations. If you enjoyed this episode, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. If you want to send anything over, you can always join the Discord, which is linked down in the description. Uh, I do pretty much accept any creations. Kind of did a little theme here today. Everything felt pretty in place, except for maybe the Rocket League car, but that thing was too cool to pass up. So, anyways, creations are linked down in the description. We will be returning with another train episode here very soon. Uh, I've got some work to do on the world, but we'll come back with that. But yeah, hope you guys have a great day, and we will see you guys next time in Scrap Mechanic. Thank you.